how to draw anatomy art of course for beginners everyone who want to be an artist should know this kind of art so now it has become a very serious challenge in most of people they don't know how to do this anatomy art and that's a very serious challenge because you can't be an artist if you don't know this drawing that I'm about to show you. Hi, I'm Dopsy, my name, and uh, this is our live session. I'm here with you guys. I'm going to draw for you something very simple, something very beautiful, and I'll be using my HB pencil and my 2B pencil. So guys, stay tuned with me as we wait for few people to join us so that we can go through together. You want to be an artist, there are certain principles which you need to follow and respect them in order for you to be good in what you are doing. And if you don't apply all these principles, you're not gonna be able to draw even a human arms. So if you want to do all these things, you need to practice every time. You need to practice, you need to study all the necessary or basic things that uh, you get to learn, especially in this video. Every small details that I'll be showing you, you practice it on your own times, on your own way. That is how you get to be a good artist. So to start with me, guys, um, I want you guys to understand that when you are drawing anatomy, you kind of like trying to express your emotions through something. Okay, you kind of like trying to bring out your thoughts in a human body. And in most of the case for you to get it easy, you must always remember to put some um to use some circle for an example like if you want to draw someone you start with the head this circle presents the head and then if you want to get the shoulder then you can put a small circle there that shows one side of the arms and this also goes the same because with this small circle that i'm drawing there these are what will bring out exactly what I want to show you, okay? So once we have this two, obviously, like the neck and the shoulders, the head and the shoulders, okay? And then you'll try to check what position you want to put the end. For example, in my case, um, before that, I'll have to put a circle here. This shows that my arms will come this way. So, since it's going that way, I only have to put another circle there. Okay? Once I put that, I'll check the, the, the these arms. Where is it going? Where I want it to be? Then, for now, instead, I can put it somewhere here. Okay? Once I put it there, at least I have the position of the end the way i want it to be okay i can also try to put another one here but it's not necessary right now so from at this point i will need actually to draw a big circle here okay okay so guys this circle presents the part of bats or bumps um yeah the worst you know it presents that and then i can go a bit further to try to make another small circles this place which presents which present actually for me the knees okay so at this point now if i have to work on what i've done so far that will be for me to draw the face. I drop my nose 
my leaves, two leaves, and then come up this way, okay? And then I can try to to put something here, okay? Let's say maybe, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys, you must pay much attention on this, it's very important, okay? So, let's say, um, I use that, I make the head out of that, okay? So, let's say I have made the head, I'll continue with the rest later on. Then, this one presents the shoulder. which can go all the way to this circle there and we can take this to give it the forms of a, an arm which will also go all the way to the same circle and obviously from that circle we can try We can try to do it this way again. Because you know when when you want to be good with your art, always remember you can draw the finger there. I was saying that always remember to follow up all the necessary principles which will help you to actually be good can try to draw some small fingers there because remember that circle was for like presenting the the hand obviously so now that we have the end okay Voila. So we have our hands right there. And now we need to work on the second shoulder, which the circle is there already. So we we'll just need to come with this line a little bit in and fold that small circle. Not too much. Somewhere there. And then... And then we can actually come with it out this way all the way to this other circle and uh, we try to because she's a lady, so obviously I'll need to put some, you know, you know what I mean? We need this one to be there, and we need another one, two of them. They can be there. Okay. So, from then, we now remember this circle here. We just need to take the ship. From somewhere there going up here all the way following up that shape obviously but before that let's finish up with this end it has to come here again obviously that circles is somewhere here so you come with it and you take it from somewhere here So she's kind of like putting her hands on her worst. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out. 
you, then you look as you going which position you want to give her so you can see that she's kind of like trying to lay on her back so what you need to do in that position then you need to fold up this arm here come with it just a little bit longer somewhere there and then you can break up and open up and then you can obviously put some you know ladies hips because every girl have it and you can go ahead and go down all the way but at least here you have get the importance of this act doing so let's say for instance um this circle we put them somewhere up here like this one we put it like somewhere here okay and this other one i put it just somewhere next to it so now and here this hips comes this way and you can try to draw your knee up following up that uh, obviously that's how you call it again the circle I just need to make a proper drawing there so I mean all of us if I'm not happy about what I'm drawing <laughs> I don't I don't need to exist I immediately delict so it's still the same circle but this time i just wanted to you know to make it this way to make it more straight because i want her to look like she's following but i actually want to make her look like um she's actually standing but yet she's in the position like she want to you know Unfortunately, I don't have enough space, so obviously I was gonna draw the legs, but that would be enough for this drawing. And then we'll just have to do the same thing again here. So all the way. So guys, this is very important in your drawing. If you have to follow all this small, because you have to be able. Some people they will tell you that no, I want to draw. No, I like drawing, but you know the thing is that ish, every time when I get at this point, I can't be able to finish my drawing because I don't know how to draw this or I don't know how to draw that. No, you don't know how to because you never practice all this thing. You need to practice them if you want. To be a good draw a, a artist or you want to be a good drawer so you people should know that okay you just come up with something in your mind that you think you figure out you think that this one is gonna work for my drawing and then that is it okay so that is it okay so for me, at this point, we just need to give a little bit of, you know, a sharp on this part here. Just to, to distinguish the, the difference between these two parts. And then we can continue with this leg here, obviously, and try to to draw the the leg to finish up the drawing of the leg okay so now when you are at that point obviously you can tell now that we have our knee from this side another one from this side is right there okay so this two circle presents your knees 
and uh, this present the remaining of the body and we can maybe try to put a belly there okay so do something like this and put the belly somewhere there something small don't make it bigger because you just want to show the figure of a woman's body okay so if you want to get some more details then those are the details you will have to put lights on but for my side i think um i'm much better i just want to draw her with a a beautiful cap so just to to make sure that everything sit okay on my side Maybe we can draw her with some police sexy caps. It's also a way of making your drawing look much better. So I'm just doing it. We can put some hair on this side. Since it is from that side, we can even try to put some shadows. Because always remember there are places where you need to always remember to put such shadows and here we can do this hair, make it look in this position because they go all over the body. So these are very important details that need to be included. So if you want more details that is on your site, you'll have to see how you will do it. So guys, um, actually this is how you get to draw in this is how you get to draw anatomies this is something that you don't need to miss out because if you want to be a good artisan then you need to consider all on how you can be able to be making all this if you don't do this then you're never gonna be a good artist so you need to practice it more and see which parts you are not good whenever you're drawing a human body and try to make a plan on to learn how you can draw it so now we have drawn this part uh, i would like to draw another the same girl kind of like she's trying to address herself to someone which is still her so remember, anatomies are kind of like the drawing which help you to express what it is in your mind or what you think, okay? So you kind of like need all these things so that you'll be able So that you'll be able to actually <laughs> you know when you want to make something look more beautiful so instead of moving to the next one and you are now busy thinking on how you can make sure that this one gets finished until the end Anyway, I think that will be enough for this. It looks like she's shouting at someone. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a drawing, so don't take it serious because I'm just giving you a lectures on how you can draw this kind of now 
and at this point let's try to come up with another idea like trying to add another lady here and let's try to make them like they're trying to talk or having a conversation between these two so which means the one that i'm going to draw here she will have to uh, turn the backs okay so in order to do that the first thing we need to do again remember you draw your head uh, let's put it somewhere here you draw your head here that present your head okay that will present the head and then you check again the same thing apply here you need to put your shoulders somewhere there you put another one right somewhere here and then you try to see how size you want the arm to look like in my case i can even put it here something small like this and then i go this side this time now around i'll have to take a line from this corner here and this corner here try to keep them somewhere here okay try to keep somewhere here so this land will be there this one also will be here okay so at this point um we want to do the same again with this one so i'm gonna put like the hands right there okay so when i put them there um okay just a, a quick correction i think i need to put it in the right place i don't think like this place i put that the right one okay so let's say i put it somewhere here okay and this one also i put it somewhere here okay now that i have done that then i need also to come and put somewhere some you know this big i'll prefer them to go one side because of the position which i want to give her eh? so from then then i put like some something here for the knees obviously that present the knees and if i have to come and put another one somewhere here i mean this is very beautiful for me so guys through this small circle that you guys you are seeing i'm going to build up in anatomy of a figure out of it to those who just join us today in this video guys i'm busy teaching people on how to draw um anatomies for beginners so i have noticed that some people want to be artists but yet they have a serious problem because they can't actually draw properly you know so some people they have that serious problem because they don't even know how to draw a human body it is for that reason why in this video i want to teach someone who's interested to on how to draw so that they will be able to to be a good artist okay so if you just join us uh, stay tuned follow along with me as i'll be showing you guys uh step by step the basic thing that you need to look when you are drawing an anatomy or when you want to draw a human body so obviously um these are the small small things we get here and then you know in the hand obviously because it is in the inside so unfortunately it is a, is a it is a short uh, i mean a small video otherwise i would love to you know to go in details and try to show you exactly how the inside hand should look like 
in a relay but yeah this is the basic so you guys i hope you understand that i'm just trying to you know put those small details in so that it will look more professional obviously and here uh, i would like to make her look like she her hands are closed okay because she's kind of like you know yeah yeah i think that would be much better um okay voila so now let's go ahead and do this part this will help you on how to do like this all this small circle they'll definitely teach you on how to draw a human body so let's say this one present the head now that present the head you need to see which shape you want to give it so i want to make it her like looking she's talking to this one so you need first to put your front the front head okay you need to put the front head which will have to be kind of like on the side and then you don't need to do much about that because it has to be something like that okay so at this point the only things you have now to do it is like trying to give her the proper shape of the head and the hair, hair. And if you want to get it right, for me, I think you can either try to, you know, to do this lady's hair. And let's say like you do one big hair like this. Yeah. So obviously, I'm just doing this like to show actually that it is the hair. Okay. And then. We can uh, close it up on that level so then you take this you draw it as a shoulder always remember when you are drawing you don't need to focus your pencil on the paper because you can make a mistake and you still want to delete so it is better to always draw light that's why i'm using this hb pencil so that um if there's any mistake i will be able to to erase it so this one can come here and you put a small line coming from inside till outside and then you take it this way around okay once you are at that level you come in following that small circle remember it this circle here following it you come in this way and you can come up a little bit and stop somewhere there for now so now you need to draw it from the inside but before you get to draw it from the inside you need now to remember this part here okay you need to remember that part and come and follow it all the way around so when you are at that point obviously you can now come ahead and take the inside arms out because you have all right position everything so go with it until this part remember this girl she turns the back towards us guys please um give me some likes support me just give me some likes i'll really appreciate that okay so here we continue with this hand then we can make it touch there because 
she's swording um a self okay and we can also do the same with this one Okay. So now that we have that part, um, we'll obviously need to draw this arm and the circle is there already. All we need to do is just to follow up around, but this time make it like it is kind of like a little bit right there. Uh -huh. That's how I want it. Okay. When it is at that point, come in with it until somewhere there, and then we can be able to take it out now. So, for me, I think this circle is a bit down, so we need to get it somewhere here. Okay, somewhere there, which means we'll have to drop. The, this arm right there and try to bend it in do also the same as we did with other one but before we get to continue we need to get this part here more nice and the way I'm drawing this girl I'm kind of like trying to make her look more masculine okay so at this point we needed to follow this arms okay if we fold it at that point yeah then we can be able to continue with the rest so that we'll be able to watch she's a female obviously we need to put some shape here you know what i'm talking about we need to put it not that big because it is i want to show it on the side and this is on the sides of uh, of fair uh, so at this point we can now come up with this um i would call arm taking it from somewhere here and then all the way a bit inside here because remember she's holding herself so we can go with it that way now you understand what I'm trying to do right I believe most of you are watching this video you do not see that coming right okay so once it is at this point you can obviously goes in and then fin close it up with this part okay so we have our second arm which she did it like something like this and she put it on the chest so um yeah it's just that i don't want to go in details of putting all the fingers you know i have thing which i'm i'm busy showing you guys so we don't have much time for that okay so at this level obviously this body has to go in this angle because she's facing her now at this point now that's where our you know our stuff behind coming in so now we can obviously take it from somewhere here put the first hip and then we can open up all the way like this <laughs> i'm sure someone is like eh, that is too much yes it is too much god create people in many different ways so me also as an artist when i'm drawing i can't draw everything the same 
so uh, because i know there are people like this actually out there yes there are people who are like this just like this out there so but anyway that's not what i mean to say um what i want you to focus more is what i'm busy drawing for you so obviously this one presents the part of other side but we are not there yet we just need to make you understand how this drawing looks like all right so okay now obviously we have speak another language all of them if you see they kind of like this one trying to for, uh, face this one forward and this are like excuse me excuse me excuse me where are you going what are you trying to tell me figure out the rest because you know ladies most yeah me i'm just trying to show you the basic so from here i think um we'll need to make something like this yeah i think we'll need to make something like this um you know we can try to separate them here exactly exactly i think this is how i want it to look i want it to look this way so this one obviously it it is it has to go all the way somewhere there I think this line I've drawn too much. I must reduce it a little bit. <laughs> because even a real human being does not have the line until up there. So um I'm kind of like I can take it until somewhere here. Okay, that would be enough. And then obviously here it's supposed to be something, but I don't need to go in details so um, i can just give it a small shop because it has to be seen from the behind but it's not a purity so let's just forget about it you guys should focus on what i'm drawing for you the rest uh -uh, never mind okay so here we can come with this line just a small insight you know to to show the difference between this so obviously that thing i was talking about it can be here okay yeah let's put that line that way on that position and then so that we'll be able to get our um we can get the remain of this leg out guys and it has to come all the way all the way to this part of the knees and i even make her look more taller than the other one okay so this part of the knees obviously from the downside and this one can come up this way so it goes down it's gonna come smaller smaller that is it and this one um we are on the knee already so this is the new, our new has here uh, so another one was here then um, we just give it this and we can take this knee a little bit there just to make sure that everything look nice there you go so obviously now we we kind of like have our gap here and then we have uh this line is right there another line is right there going up um we can try maybe to put another one right here you know just to to make it look more nice but i don't want them to touch each other or anyway you already get the basic so you can put some sketch on this part 
because it has to be dark because of where there's lights coming from so obviously the light is coming from that side and uh, if it's coming from that side then the dark the shadow should be this side i don't want too much um i'm just trying to show you guys the basic okay so now you can also do the same on uh, this level here look like something went in my eyes <laughs> okay so if you do this guys i would love this video many people to watch it because i'm helping you guys i'm helping you for free man mm -hmm. isn't it to have learned something on how to draw anatomy acts for beginners you might be you want to do to be artist or whatsoever but yet you don't know this kind of uh, what art so it's very it's very 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 challenging and as we are here we are helping you guys okay we are helping you so yeah I'm just trying to emphasize on that part of the body because um, it is very important so at this point guys we need to give a little bit of shape because we I, you need to put to show that these hands they're actually laying on something you know yeah if they are in that position is because they're being posed by something so we must be more careful on that part there okay um and what you need to do you just have to make sure that this line goes up a little bit like this you know and uh, from here you need to put another line which was coming up from like this you know something like that just to differ and from then you can try to put your you know i don't, I don't know how you call it uh, yeah something like this just to to show because even if you check on yourself right now you will see that you have also these small things that i just put there all right and then yeah you can try maybe to put a, a line like this you know this line guys you know it right make it thinner up there and down here you can make it a big small and make it small again as you go down as you go toward down so that's almost there now this arm just give it a bit of shape at this point so that everything's sit the way you know even in this one also you know all these small shapes you need to actually respect them because that's that what can make your work look more nice so if you fold them then you'll be fine and then the neck the neck need to come a little bit in okay and then even try to make it even more darker here you can go all the way to show that shape 10 actually a a what a face you know yeah and this part you know just try to give it some look man you need to make it look like more nice so therefore that is one hair and then the back here you know women will understand don't forget to draw the hair which will be somewhere here because a here will have to be more visible yeah so for me that can be the here just try to put some details on it and then obviously you can start putting the hair now don't worry about the the, the face 
we throw it on the side so um, there won't be need for you to draw the eye because there's no place for eye actually everything's like she read she just give that look okay and the rest you just put your the hair some hair there you know showing up that she actually uh, close the hair in this position and you know yeah so it will be something like that guys um yeah it will be something like that you know so as for this line you need to continue with it somewhere there okay actually i need to draw it more in this angle so I think if we take it far for because she has 10 so we need to take it this far and we'll bend it from there and can go all the way up like this yeah all right so you guys you have learned something right you have learned something on this video so if you really like what i draw for you tonight or today depends on where you are watching us please like my videos also tell me what you would like to see me doing for you next time also um share if you can just share the video so that other people who want to know on how to draw a human body or anatomy they'll definitely get to do to get the privilege to watch this video if you do that for me i'll be so happy i'll appreciate it so about the shadows obviously if you want to put more shadows it is all up to you but me i've shown you guys the basic because these shadows can even go all the way up here not too much though <laughs> up here even on the arms as well you can put some shadows there actually let me do this this will make things easy so yeah you can put some shadows in the hair in the arms there here as well this part as well yeah all these parts you know put some shadow so that you'll have a quick idea of what you are actually busy drawing so here's my pencil yes some shadows Uh -huh. some also goes here if you want to put shadow you can but for me it's not a priority right now so i think guys i've uh, show you on how you can actually draw anatomy art for every beginner so if you want to be an artist and you don't know how to draw a woman figure here is one opportunity that uh, how to draw it channel has provided for you guys you can come and watch this video over and over until when you get it right so don't feel like uh, someone will come and ask you what to do um what to draw if if you don't want to draw it yourself okay so remember that this video is gonna be here all thanks to youtube you'll be able to watch it anytime whenever you google how to draw anatomies these videos will always be available you know so thank you so much for watching again for those who don't know me my name is dopsy i'm a youtube video creators so i do upload videos to this channel time to time and 
this is what i mean this was actually our live session for today which i wanted to share up with you to show you on how you can draw anatomy acts especially for beginners or for anyone who don't know how to draw but they want to start and in this video i explain you how to do everything only with circles you mark circles on the different part of the body that you want to draw you mark circle on the joint parts of the body that you want to draw or position of the way you want the position to look like so you mark those circles all over and you start working in those circles i hope you have learned something thank you so much for watching continue doing good fear your god have respect for everyone until i see you again bye bye